Hi, it's Todd Best of Best Builders here with uh, Built In, your favorite home building video series from Haven, where we're going to take a deep dive in the products and systems used in high performance buildings to improve the energy efficiencies of your home with some great added benefits too, including increased comfort, wellness, and of course your safety. So today we're heading to a home that our team is building for a family in Vancouver and I'm very proud of this project. The entire team, including interior designer Kathy Ewan of Phase One Design, have worked together from the beginning to customize and design a home to meet every need of the family. It's a great example of what happens when you get your team together early on in the design process and take the time to plan everything carefully. In the industry, we call this an integrated design process and the outcome is absolutely stunning. So join me as we meet some of the best experts in the industry. So come on, let's go over and check it out. Hey, Kathy. Hey, Todd. How's it going? Very good. Okay, good to see you. You're looking awesome today. Thank you. Oh, Likewise. So nice to see you. Likewise. Oh, fantastic. Here we are at the beautiful home. Amazing. The homeowners are now moved in. The house is fully done. Everyone's excited. Absolutely. As am I. So now that our team is completed, I thought mm -hmm. maybe you and I could walk through it together yeah. and kind of revisit exactly how the whole team pulled this off. Absolutely. Yep. Building design, interior design by our team, build by you. Perfect combination. There you go. Integrated teamwork. We're a big advocates at Best Builders for using uh, an integrated design process or mm -hmm. IDP as the industry likes to call it. Uh, in our experience, IDP allows for the, the best possible outcome for the home wars. Can you explain uh, just a little bit more about what IDP is and, and how it works just for our viewers? So integrated design process is IDP. It's a collaborative process that involves the entire team, including the homeowner, the builder, the designer, and all the key project partners. So for example, the engineer, energy advisors, and we're all working together from the very beginning of the planning process. So this ensures that everybody's project goals and needs are met and that the home is designed as efficiently as possible with the best possible outcome. So, you know, Kathy, this all sounds great, but really what are some of the specific benefits of the integrated design process to, uh, to our homeowners? Great question, Todd. Well, first off, it makes sure that the home is really well designed. Yes. So these homeowners, it was really important to them to make sure that this home design was very design forward. Yes. But on top of this, they also wanted a high performance home. But yeah, I mean, look around, it's hard. I mean, I think this yeah. house is stunning. It's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, obviously I'm a little biased because we designed it, but yeah, I, I do think this house is stunning. Uh, but the bonus is that it is indeed a high performance home. So you really can have it all. So check out these ceilings yeah. and check out these walls. Yeah, there's not really a lot to see if you get my point. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. While we were designing the space, we meticulously planned the interior living space, the lighting, the heating, the cooling, audio, security, the list goes on, um, EV chargers, and other automation features, all of which is designed to be incorporated into the living space or hidden so you don't see it. Um, without impact on the overall design of the home. Yeah, I mean, you just got to think about like all the ductwork wiring and, mm -hmm. and and all the automation. It's all behind the walls and behind the drop ceiling. And we were able to incorporate blinds and everything else into that. Yeah, love it. Everything was done with intention and with purpose. And the IDVP process allowed us to do this because it was a, it's a holistic design approach. When you see the mechanical room and the media room downstairs, I mean, it really makes you think and appreciate the technology that now goes into these new homes that we build today. With the program that we're trying to promote, Kathy, I mean, this is what's important. People don't see what's behind the wall. So we used insulated concrete forms or uh, ICF as we call it in the industry for the foundation of this home. Uh, ICF by Airfoam just makes a lot of sense to me. It has a, a high thermal mass, which means, you know, it can store heat and then release it slowly. And, and this results in a far more energy efficient home. Now that means it requires less heating, less cooling, and it leads to a lower energy use, which then equates to savings for the client and living in a safer environment. 
Yeah, absolutely, Todd. Love ICF. Um, all of this also adds to a really comfortable and healthy living environment. So you get a lot more consistent indoor temperature, you get reduced humidity, and it prevents mold growth. Um, what's really great about ICF2, which I love as a designer, is the design flexibility. So you literally can design more or less pretty much anything that you want, and ICF, that product, will fit that house. So it gives um, you that benefit of, again, a high-performance home without sacrificing design. Yeah, and because ICF homes use a lot less energy for heating and cooling, this results in a lower carbon emission and a reduced environmental impact, which everyone is so concerned with. So the other really great thing about having an energy advisor on board at the very beginning of the integrated design process is that the homes that we're designing these days are so airtight and they have to be for high performance homes. Now with an airtight home, you do need to pull in fresh air. Um, and in order to do this properly and have the system sized properly for the home, that's really where the role of an energy advisor comes in so that they're able to do that. But then on top of that, meeting the needs and the wants of the homeowner. Yeah, hundred percent, Kathy. It's, I don't think I can stress that enough. You know, gone are the days of it's a big house, put it a bigger furnace. Exactly. You know, it's, it's warm, open all the windows yep. and we'll cool down. Now you can come into a home, you close all your windows and doors for the sound to get the daily traffic out and your home is perfectly balanced to the needs of your family. So I can't stress enough to the viewers the importance again, this is an important team member for us. I think everybody loves windows. As designers, we love windows. Homeowners love windows. Windows are amazing because obviously they just create so much natural light within a space. It's great because you can have this amazing, beautiful integration of like interior spaces flowing out to outdoor spaces. Like the list goes on and on and on, all the benefits of the window, of, of having windows. But let's be real, windows are big, huge holes in your walls. So from a building envelope standpoint, not that great. No, and you're right. I mean, the windows are obviously, especially in a beautiful home like this, you know, we live in a beautiful city who doesn't want indoor, outdoor, or at least Absolutely. the feeling of being outdoors. Like you know, you've got Absolutely. big, beautiful doors here that tie into an amazing backyard. Who doesn't want to take advantage of that? But you're right. That's where all my energy goes. Absolutely. It is out the window. <laughs> so part of our team, again, discussion is working with a really good supplier to go through step codes that we're trying to meet, energy requirements that we're trying to meet. What are my limitations of windows and what are your choices that are actually available to you. These windows came with different uh, choices for opening, uh, how to vent, and they made a lot of tough decisions based on on, on the cost, uh, the, the amount of energy we were able to utilize and save. And we were also able to utilize power blinds here in the home to help offset the size of some of these windows. So it goes right back to our first step in the process again, I think. And you, know, you gotta hire the team mm -hmm. so that we can break down your costs and show you realistic options and let you make those choices right up front. So it's not a panic decision halfway Absolutely. through the job. This yeah. gives the homeowner the power to work as part of the team, mm -hmm. yeah. which is really, you know, I don't hear enough of that. I don't think the owners want to be part of that integrated design service mm -hmm. right up front. I got to have the say, I got what I wanted. And the builder was still able to say, I met all my step code requirements and you have a beautiful home, passes all the code and no design was sacrificed. I think that's what's important. Kathy, this all makes perfect sense to me, but what about the cost of incorporating IDP into a project? Great question, Todd. Um, so there may be some additional planning costs up front that is associated with an IDP process, but in our experience, the benefits of that far outweigh the cost. Agreed. By working together as a team up front, we can find a lot of ways to save money and manage the project and have basically a line of sight as to any upcoming potential issues or problems and then troubleshoot them up front during the planning stages rather than have to deal with them later on in the permits and construction phases. No, I agreed. I know on this home, particularly Cafe, we found there are a lot of design criteria that we had to change and different ideas that the owners wanted to be incorporated. So we faced our challenges here, but being able to take care of 90% of those yep. problems up front in the design phase Absolutely. is what ideally kept this job on budget. Because if you'd had to deal with that partway through the project, you know, there could have been a lot of unforeseen costs 
And so luckily with this process, a lot of those costs are rooted out and we can identify them right at the beginning of the project. Absolutely. I could not agree more. So Kathy, you can see how everything's connected here, right? The foundation, the walls, the windows, the mechanical system, the HRV, and you know, circling back here again to the integrated design process, all aspects of this project have to be considered at the same time, at the very beginning of the project. I 100% agree with you, Todd. And the design of a home is so important. If something is not designed correctly, you see it, you feel it. A well-designed home just feels right. Yep. Seeing that smile on the client's face for the first time is what we're looking for. Amazing. Yeah, that's the best, best <laughs> feeling in the whole entire world. Kathy, I really just wanted to say how much fun this has been working with you and your team. This was a long process, but we got a nice reward. Absolutely. And the best feeling in the world is a happy homeowner. Our team loved working with you. I love working with you um, and looking forward to many more successful many projects, more projects like this. Thank you very much. Thanks, everyone.